it's game day. I'm gonna make some coffee and we're gonna get ready and film this day. I'm making some pumpkin cream cold foam but with some creamer in it. I think it tastes better, but if you wanna know how I put it all together, you can go watch my last video. It's a pumpkin cold brew recipe video, so yeah. There's my pumpkin cold brew in my favorite mug ever from my boyfriend. So I'm gonna just relax and then I'll get ready for the football game because it's game day. Homework before game days so that I can enjoy game day. Okay, it's time to start at least putting makeup on. It's 11.15. The game is not, what time did I say it was? This might be too early, but I'm gonna start at least putting some stuff on my face. So I'm taking some poor professional little <laughs> travel size thing. I'm gonna put this on my areas that need it like right here is really not good for me. I didn't bring tweezers to college, so my eyebrows are pretty messed up. I'm gonna take some concealer. I was on duty last night, so I didn't get the best sleep. So I had to do rounds and stuff. Not very exciting. As you can see, I just applied that. I used the or Maybelline Age Rewind. I honestly use it because I like the brush on it. I think before I put foundation on, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. And I think I want to do like pretty crazy. I didn't bring very much makeup up to college because I really don't wear makeup that often. But I brought the James Charles palette, even though he's kind of canceled. So we've got some reds. Since I go to IU, I'm, I'm definitely going to use some of that. We'll see. The only thing that sucks is I like ruin my brushes whenever I use these colors. Actually, I'm gonna put some concealer down. Just so that we got a good place to start. I feel like I'm getting ready for prom. I think the people next to me are watching football. I hear them clapping all the time, like yelling at the TV. So this is my first like actual, well I guess I've been to one when I was little, but I blocked out that time in my life. Not for like any specific reason, I just don't remember. Yeah, I went to one when I was in elementary school, an IU game, and I don't remember it. I don't even remember tailgating, but I guess we did that too, because there's like pictures to prove it, I just don't remember it. Now I'm going to take one of my better brushes, that way I know it's like gonna work out really well. I don't know if I should start with the red. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna go in with like the red color. Scary. Just put it on my lid, see how we like it. The only problem about doing red eyeshadow is that you kind of have to make it look like you don't have uh, infection on your eyeball. <laughs> Same with smoky eyes, like it's just so hard to like get the balance right of like dark colors, light colors. So hopefully this is one of those times where you trust the process. <laughs> it could not be, but I'm hoping that's what this turns into. Gosh, that went right in my eyeball. My eyeballs are gonna be, or my eyelids are gonna be stained tomorrow. <laughs> Every time I use these colors, it stains my eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take burgundies and browns to like give this some depth. So I'm gonna take one of the burgundy colors. Hear everybody like so hype it's so exciting last year during covid we couldn't go to the games here so like i was like a ghost town because like nobody could go so everybody was excited but like you couldn't really be that excited because we couldn't even go to the game so this one showed up i need a better brush the brush is not good but this year i bought a season pass like a st season student pass so it's like i think it's cheaper 
but I get to go to all the home football games, all the home basketball games. Okay, so we've got some depth. Let me show you. Black is so scary to use because it can literally ruin a makeup look. Ah, I'm so excited. I, I have red and white eyeliner at home. I'm so sad I didn't bring it. So now we're gonna go in with some type of glitter. I'm gonna go in with like a little bit more black. I'm gonna try the mirror from the Modern Renaissance palette. All of a sudden, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> See, I went too far now. Now it doesn't look good anymore. It just goes like really high up on my brows, like on the inside. So I'm taking some pale, like that pale color I used on the base. I'm just going over the top of my brow. I'm going to take this and put more red down. I'm gonna finish it up off camera and I'll get back. So I ended up just doing like really red like replace the blackish colors with really red and i'm gonna do like my face and stuff okay so i'm gonna start on the foundation match i think it looks pretty good not bad okay so i added some powder some bronzer blush and i'm gonna get into my outfit and do my hair so outfit change now here's my outfit i'll show you guys a better angle so i've got some black mom ripped jeans from american eagle I got this tube top that I got off of Greetings on Kirkwood, and I got this little beaded thingy. That is just about everything. I'm gonna wear my AF1s. I forgot I was filming. So I kind of curled my hair with the straightener. Put some mascara on. I'm ready. Secondly, Allie's outfit. Very nice. We got the candy stripe shirt and the matching forces. Yes, she looks so good. We're walking to the tailgate. Ah. Okay, man, I'm sweating.